Okay, so this is the Thursday update. Uh, today I went and I uh, torqued up the uh, you know a few of the bolts that I had left from uh, yesterday, and uh, buttoned up the uh, front of the engine. So now the uh, water pump and the uh, timing cover plate are all uh, mounted on and sealed. I sealed the uh, the, any of the bolts that went into the block I sealed with some thread sealer and uh, I'll show you what it looks like now. So there's the engine. Uh, the crank pulley or harmonic balancer pulley, if I can pronounce it, uh, is on permanently. The uh, water pump pulley is um, you know, not permanently on but it won't really be permanently on until I you know, put the fan that's in that box on. Um, there's no point in putting that on until I'm nearly ready to put it in either the you know the test uh, unit there or if I'm going to put it in directly into the frame there you know none of none of it is really ready to go there yet um, you know probably doesn't sound like a huge amount done today but you know got to remember I'm working in the evenings here um, so I think that the next thing I will be doing is I've got my brackets over here I could probably start thinking about putting those on although I kinda have to coordinate that with the fact that I gotta run some fuel line from the fuel pump up past here and under here before I can do that and then I really I guess I gotta put the injector lines on and before I can put the injector lines on I have to put you know the uh, valve cover brackets which are in you know painted and ready to go on some of these bags and on and on and on. So anyways, that's tomorrow's tomorrow's work and uh, I'll put in the same update. Okay, so uh, I've got uh, some of the brackets mounted on the front of the engine. Uh, really didn't intend to permanently mount the uh, driver's side, uh, you know, uh, pump and, uh, and idler bracket uh, on permanently because I knew that uh, I had to get well, it was a lot easier to remove the pump uh, bolts from the rear on either of those, but I put it on there just you know, see how it would fit. And of course, uh, I should have known, but uh, the new high uh, output uh, water pump came with a uh, dual thermostat setup, and uh, there's a bit of interference here, as you might see. It's uh, interfering with the uh, lifting bracket. Now that's I. I kind of expect that they had said in the instructions uh, or on the website that there was going to be interference with the uh, alternator bracket but I think that either I read that wrong or they met the uh, driver side uh, air conditioning bracket there and lifting uh, bracket they said it would be necessary to grind some of it away in order to let it fit but obviously there's no problem on the uh, on the driver side or passenger side it's all on the driver side I'm hoping that if I remove this uh, lifting bracket, which was bending all to hell anyways when I used it regardless, so it's not like I'm going to keep it on there or really needed it or was going to use it. Uh, I'm hoping that I won't need to grind too much on this uh, bracket here, but you know, like you look at that, you look at the big gap there and you look at the uh, the lifting bracket and I think remove, just removing the lifting bracket is probably is it, it kind of looks like it's going to be close but it probably won't be enough I'm probably going to have to grind the uh, main uh, cast iron bracket here anyways there's something to see okay so we can see here that yeah even with that um, lifting uh, hook uh, removed I put some washers in the spacers um, there still is a pretty substantial uh, interference problem here uh, looks like I'm going to have to shave probably at least three-eighths of an inch off of here. And I'm probably going to have to round out this spot out of this bracket here as well. Um, hopefully it's not going to be a problem if I do uh, end up putting AC on this engine, but uh, I'll deal with that when that comes up. Uh, probably not, actually. If you look at it this way, it looks like it's well out of the way, and I'm assuming the diameter of the... Uh, AC compressor that was typically put in uh, in the 95 uh, trucks and vans probably wasn't much larger in diameter than this but uh, like I said I'll deal with that when it comes up right now I'm trying to get the engine back together um, 
Anyways, so there we go. Probably uh, should have checked this before I went and painted the bracket, but uh, uh, it shouldn't be too big a deal. I must admit I'm not too impressed with how the paint on uh, some of these bolts has been holding up. Uh, some of them have been chipping off. You can't really see too well on any, any of these here, but, you know, suffice it to say it's, uh, it's uh, not that great. I thought I've had, had black paint that I thought held up better than this. Maybe it was more flexible or something like that. In any case, on to some grinding. Okay, so I'm going to have to grind off a little bit more. i got a bit of an inter interference here. But uh, some people came by to look at a vehicle and, uh, well, it got a little bit dark in the meantime. So uh, I'm going to knock off for the night. But should have this ready to go tomorrow. <laughs>